What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to the living room. We are the October. So guys, we are almost done with this season and I'm like really pumped for it. But check it out, guys. You said that we should react to it individually. So I think that's what we're gonna do. If you ask, you shall receive over here. Anyways, guys, man, no tiptoeing around, no spoilers, guys. Seriously, we got moderators. And if you mess around and spoil it for this community, it's not just for us, guys. It's just as much for you guys as it is for us. So if you play spoiler, we will block you. You will never be able to comment on the channel again. And I'm dead serious about that. So no spoilers, I'm ready. Let's go. This is, um, I'm nervous. Think the driver, think the driver. Mm -hmm. I feel like I'm dropping in. You know how much like time I'm, it probably took to do the hound's makeup? But to be honest, man, like it's just hard to even like be impressed by that because. Like, cause his burn mark is so like probably hard to do. The twins, that's new. Did you see the location that they had the hound in when they were doing that scene? That field that went on forever. Mm -hmm. The twins is where that wedding is taking place, right? Mm -hmm. Which is the br the bridge, yeah, water phrase. Water fray. His grump grump holds himself. Ah, one star. Why are you late? You oh yeah, they I'm said that. Prickly. Yeah, he's gonna be mad. <laughs> you know I'm prickly. So he's gonna be like in a bad mood at the wedding. Yeah. He's probably gonna get drunk. Awesome drunk. But no one could be as drunk as Tyrion. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody. Guys, we're talking our heads off, but once the show starts, we locked in. We locked in, so stay with us. You and Kai, are we tacking it or not? Nah? We'll see. <laughs> Let's go, baby. Casterly Rock. The lions. The, the wolves. Oh, shit. The upside. <gasps> the Theon. Theon. No. Dangerous. Ooh. If we take Tywin's castle from him, the Lords of Westeros will realize he's not invincible. Take his home, take his gold, take his power. Why are you telling me? You begged me not to send Theon to negotiate with his father, and I ignored your advice. Now Winterfell is burnt to the ground. The North is overrun with Ironborn, and Bran and Rickon are gone. You're a warrior, Catelyn. So, Casterly Rock, I'm asking your advice. We have enough men? If Walder Frey cooperates. Oh, okay. I don't like this. If reinforcements arrive from King's Landing, we'll be caught between Tywin's army and the sea. They're gonna drive y'all to the sea. We'll lose the war and die the way father died. Show them how it feels to lose what they love. Let's go. So basically the war is coming to a head. Let's go, That's what you guys are excited about. Let's I go, see. two bees. Free the North. That should be like a rallying cry, right? <laughs> The North demands independence. We don't bow to you. No longer will we live in treachery and tyranny. Okay. <laughs> you know okay, what I'm okay. Two bees going in out there. What is this? My honored <laughs> guests. They basically decapitated his dad at the White House. Welcome within my walls and at my table. We thank you for your hospitality, my lord. I have come to make my apologies and to beg your forgiveness. Don't beg my forgiveness. It wasn't me who spurned, it was my girls. <laughs> Which one? Oh my gosh. He's a dang arsenal. One of them was supposed to be queen. <laughs> he used to be. Now, none of them are. <laughs> This is our wire, my daughter Walda, my daughter Derwa. Bless you girls. My eldest granddaughters, Jania and Nahila, Sarah and Sarah, my granddaughter Wertha. <laughs> Walra. I'm Mary. Fine. Oh. <laughs> Waldina. <laughs> My ladies, all men so sorry. Their word. <laughs> I was pledged to marry one of you and I broke that vow. The fault is not with you. Any man would be lucky to have any one of you. I did what I did not to slight you, but because I loved another. I know these words cannot set right the wrong I have done to you and your house. I beg your forgiveness. That was a good forgiveness. And pledge to do all I can to make amends so the phrase of the crossing and the Starks of Winterfell may once again be friends. What a speech, Rob. Yeah. Give it up, Walter. Why has this man got on, like, fingerless gloves? Very good. There she is. Come closer. Let me have a look at you. I don't like that, bro. Love. That's what the Starks of Winterfell call it, eh? I call it a pretty face. Prettier than this lot, that's for sure. Oh, that's your lot, though. Shapely as well. This is very uncomfortable right now. Oh, you try to hide her under that dress. You wanted to hide her, you shouldn't have brought her here in the first place. I can always see what's going on beneath a dress. Doesn't that suck you have to bow to this guy right now? Your king says he betrayed me for love. I say he betrayed me for firm tits and a tight fit. Oh. <laughs> and I can respect that. When I was your age, I'd have broken 50 oaths to get into that without a second thought. Oh my gosh. Well, I've enough room in the hall for you lot. 
Well, let's get ready. The wine will flow red, and the music will play loud, and we'll put this mess behind us. Thank you, grumpy man. I mean, but geez, bro. Dude, I don't like that guy, man. He disrespected Rob's lady like that. I know, Rob Loki what? had to take it. Yeah, I got a lot of respect for two bees. I don't like him disrespecting his baby mama like that at all. Especially when Rob could walk up and just cut his head off if he wanted to. Yeah. Dora did not like that. A man cannot make love to property. This is where we enter the city. Very few guards. They know me. They let me inside. You're not gonna sneak an army through a back gate. I kill the guards. I take your two best men and lead them through the back streets and open the front gates. Then comes the army. Once the What's his name, baby? Dario? Dario? Naharis? Grey Worm and me to the slaughter. Cutting the head off our army. Right. The masters of Yunkai will pay you your fee and you won't have to split it three ways because you've already slaughtered your partners. You have a very suspicious mind. As he should, though. In my experience, only dishonest people think this way. <laughs> right. But right. <laughs> you command the unsullied. Nah, I'd be super suspicious of you, you, bro. No. You leave tonight. Very good. We'll prepare. Dang, he's smarter than me. I. I I don't trust nobody in this show. So Jora, you can use an extra sword. You're the queen's guard, Sir Barristan. Your place is by the queen. If we are truly her loyal servants, we'll do whatever needs to be done. Yeah, that's facts no right there. The you cost, say by her. No matter our pride. West of Castle Black, but the night fought's closest to us. It was the first castle on the wall. Too big, impossible to maintain. The night fought's the perfect castle for us. It's got a, a secret sally port. The black gate as old as the wall itself that's not one of the no ones one john named that he's talking about most likely no one's used it in centuries most likely that's new right down into the night fort if one knows how to find it which just so happens <laughs> i do <laughs> <laughs> suspicious minds how do you know all that i read about it in a, a very old book he always says that that's his answer to everything <laughs> you know all that from staring at marks on paper <laughs> yes <laughs> You're like a wizard. <laughs> he probably loves that. That reminds me of our Lord of the Rings title, Ex Wizards. Mm -hmm. So many people were thrown off by that. Here we are, alive. At least, like, she hasn't named the baby yet, but at least she didn't name him Randall. Yeah. He does not look like a Randall. The baby? What'd the baby look like? He doesn't <laughs> look like a baby to me. <laughs> not a Randall. Remember what happens to children who run. I'm your father. And I'll do the talk. That's a scary down. road to walk up, ain't it? <laughs> a broken down well, wagon. Right to hell, haven't they? Cracked three spokes this morning. Need a hand. Need about eight hands. What did you say, babe? It's funny. It's like a, a flat tire. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Help me with me, Karen. Don't. Don't kill him. Dead rats don't squeak. You're so dangerous, aren't you? <laughs> Sing scary things to little girls. Killing little boys and old people. Real hard man you are. More than anyone you know. You're wrong. I know a killer, a real killer. That's so. You'd be like a kitten to him. <laughs> He'd kill you with his little finger. That him? No. Good. <laughs> that him? Don't kill him. Please don't. Yo, he really slept that man. He ain't waking up. <laughs> You're Jeez. very kind. Someday it'll get you killed. Oh. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? <laughs> I like them. Where are we? Didn't John see that? The gifts, I think. Brandon the Builder gave all yeah. this land south of Mill. to the Night's Watch. Mr. Lewin taught me that. Doesn't seem to be supporting anyone at the moment. It's good land and there's no war up here. Why leave? Wildlings. Sorry. <laughs> but they come over the wall and raid, steal, carry off women. Old Nan said they turn your skull into a cup and make you drink your own blood from it. Oh! <laughs> R.I.P. Storm coming. You got a place to shelter us, Ellie. We can drink some blood while we wait. I don't need much. <laughs> she was messing with that little boy. Only one old man and eight good horses. What's one old man doing with eight horses? He breeds them for the watch. How does he keep folks from stealing them? The watch protects him. Not today, they don't. He's selling horses. He's got some gold in there. And proper steel. Let's carve him up. We just take <laughs> the horses and go. The old man's no threat. I keep telling you. <laughs> Watch might send a few men looking for a horse thief. They'll send a lot more to hunt down murderers. Killing crows in their castle is tough. Killing in Mount in the open. That's what we do. Spread out. Surround the hut. Move in. Yo, this is stressing me out. John, you got to pick a side, man. <laughs> He's just hoping something gives before it goes down. I He's don't even know. <laughs> He's just like <laughs> being so confusing. They better not kill this old man, bro. That would be so scary if you were him to just look out your door. <laughs> 
John, they're gonna cut your head off if you get caught. Man, don't kill that old dude. John warned him. You better hop on that horse. Let's go. No, oh, man. <laughs> Good job, John. I don't know what I wanted there, but not that. I mean, I might have to agree with John on this one, girl. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? She's wilding. She's made it. I wonder how many years it's been. Ew. <laughs> no one's going to believe you're a hog farmer if you eat them all. Best part of the animal. Ew. Don't worry, they're still there. I know they're still there. You check every five minutes like you're afraid they're going to move. I'm not afraid. Of course you are. You're almost there. And you're afraid you won't make it. No point in trying to hide behind that face. I know fear when I see it. Seen it a lot. I knew fear when I saw it in you. <laughs> You're afraid of fire. When Beric's sword went up in flames, you looked like a scared little girl. How sure are you? You might not make it. I heard what your brother did to you. Press your face to the fire like you're a nice, juicy mutton chop. Go ahead, then. Might get away. Might even make it there on your own. They're just over the river. Closest you've been to family since ill and pain snipped your daddy's neck. Oh my yeah, God. Yeah, I want to bring up the past over here. Someday, I'm going to put a sword through your eye and out the back of your skull. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not really sure, though. Like, because with this show, like, he might snap and just break her neck. You know what I'm saying? I like, don't know. I kind of don't like when she smarts off to him like that. It scares me. I'm going to get past the wall. My uncle said it's 700 feet high. How did you get past it? It was in a bolt and rolled past the Bay of Seals. Take us two months to get to the Bay of Seals. Even Odor's not strong enough to climb the wall with me on his back. Hold on. Nineteen castles guard the wall. Only three are still there. Hold on. One of those abandoned fortresses will give us a way through. There's a rider out there. Uh oh. Just one. There's more. Hold that on. ain't good. Oh, is that the wildlings driving by? It's just thunder, sweet giant. Wildlings. Oh, they ran down the guy on the horse. Hunting. Hold on. Make him shut up. If they hear us. Hush, hold on. No, no more hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, he doesn't like storms. They're gonna hear us. Hey, you might see him and be like, my lord brother. You know what I'm saying? Oh, he's. Whoa. Or maybe. What's up with John's riding up, right? Hold on. What happened? What happened to Hodor? They all went like telepathic or something. You he like that? channeled him? I don't know. That's a horse dying. Why is the horse dying? They hunted the horse down? Oh, they had to shoot it down to get the guy off. I heard shouting up there. Thunder. That's crazy that John is so close to his brother. And Maybe it's ghosts. <laughs> that won't help you, Grandpa. Where are you riding? Doesn't matter now, does it? Hmm. No, it doesn't matter now. Cut his throat. Or he'll tell the crows we're here. You understand. Let me stand at least. Let me go with a bit of dignity. There's ghosts, but there's another one. Make the crow kill him. Man. You're one of us now. Prove it. Mm-mm. Wolves are out there. I can't do it by choice. Yo, he wants him to control the wolves. Cows. Bro, what the cows hell? You're a wolf, bro. It's in your blood. I didn't really think about that part. Me I just thought either. he was gonna fly around and see stuff. That was just in his dreams. She looks sharp. Oh my gosh. Do it. No. Do it. Told you. He's still one of them. Man, you gotta get a new girlfriend, John. <laughs> Come on, boy. Come on. <laughs> He'll always be a crow. And here's his crow wife guarding him. He'll stab us in the back first chance he gets. Get him! Did she just take an arrow? I don't know. Or either she got hit, like punched. Man, you got carved up by the steward. Do you hear me? Next steward. You're not gonna die for one of them! Do it. They'll find us if you don't. Oh my gosh. That man's like the Undertaker. It's his first time he's doing this. <gasps> oh. That's not a ghost though, is it? <gasps> That's kind of tough, dude. Oh. Get him. That's what I'm saying, man. Forget this dude. You were right the whole time. Oh, no, no, no. Oh my god. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That eagle tore his butt up. Oh. Ah! Where's, the, where's the wolves? That guy went down fighting for real, didn't he? Yeah. Peace. 
Oh no, she's gonna be mad. Oh my god, he's not gonna get to see Bran. Yo, she is pissed. She feels so betrayed. They still might find him. They better. Oh man. What if they hold them hostage because of John now and he didn't even know he just rode off? Because he didn't even know his brother was there. He would have. That would have been so different if he knew that. I'm a great whistler. Greatest in the land. <laughs> he's so annoying. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Jorah is like, man, this guy. Too many dudes around Khaleesi. Just done to pile up, ain't they? He used to be the only one. Dang, that really worked. He just let him in. Babe, if you say that this gives you Assassin's Creed vibes, that we won't be mad at quick. you. It does. I just didn't want to say it on, on everything possible because I do. The others, I doubt it. Yunkish prefer to let their slaves do their fighting for them. Let's go, you three. It's Khaleesi's best, except Selmy. I really believe that Selmy will be in there. <laughs> Okay, great one. I know. And look at him. You see his like finishes, Grey Worms. <laughs> he has no personality, but he has some finishes. Clean. That's what you call a few guys. Bro, they don't even need a band aid. You know what I'm saying? Like. He said, that's what you call a few guards, and then these these ones come in. He said all he needed was her two best. Do you think he lied, or do you think he just <laughs> didn't know? I, no, I think he just thinks that that's not, that's light work. So they're wild, basically. <laughs> just like their king, or whatever. Whatever he is, the lord. What's going on? He's about to get married. Right now? She's walking down the aisle. She's yet to be revealed. Wait, what? This is supposed to be grand and stuff, though. No, I think the other wedding, this one's just like, you know. Which one? The other wedding, like Joffrey and Marjorie's is supposed to be grand. Oh, not this one. Okay, 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 okay. Sorry, I was confused. I was waiting. I want to see his react. Like, his reaction doesn't give anything. Aww. That poor girl. She's adorable. Lord Edmure, I hope I'm not a disappointment to you. You're a delight to me, my lady. Like, I'd be really happy, but it, ain't she like really young? Now cloak the bride and bring her under your protection. I know, but you saw them. I didn't see her in the mix. No. <laughs> He's like, you see, it's not that bad, bro. I like that little exchange for them. They're like buddies now. <laughs> Sight of the seven. I hereby seal these two souls, binding them as one for eternity. Look upon each other and say the words. Father, Smith, warrior. Mother, she don't know that he's like a dummy. <laughs> I am hers, and she is mine from this day until the C2B's end. C2B's, it wouldn't have been that bad. Oh, see what I'm saying? You could. <laughs> is that safe? Well, that was actually kind of cute. You yeah, were right. I can get inside some of mine whenever I want. North of the wall, there are wildings who can control all sorts of animals. Oh, wow. You did a lot more than that. You got inside Hodor's mind. Dang, and it made him knock out. You can't do that, North of the wall. No one can do that. Anyway. Okay. You're impressive. When I was looking through Summer's eyes, I saw John. Where? He oh. was with the wild things. They tried to kill him, but he got away. He'll be heading back to Castle Black then. That's where we should go. Well, we know Castle Black's already under attack. Is this many wildlings I already through? told you. I'm not going north of the wall. Everything Jojen told me is true. You saw what I did to Hodel. I have to find the Three-Eyed Raven. I'm not asking you to come with me. No, she's not gonna leave you. Won't be safe for Rickon. Oh. Me, I'm coming with you. No. Aww. You and Osher and Shaggy Dog head for the last hut. The Umbers are our bannermen. They'll protect you. I'm coming with you. I'm your brother. I have to Aww. protect you. Right now, I have to protect you. Rob's at war, and I'm going beyond the wall. If something happens to us, you're the heir to Winterfell. Oh. Will you know how to find the last hearth? You southerners build your big castles and you never move. <laughs> You're easy to find. We're not southerners. Yeah, they hate that. I don't want to leave. They Quiet. hate the southerners. You and me, we can have some adventures. Your family took me in and was good to me when they had no cause to be. We'll be fine, you and me. The Umbers are great warriors. Even I heard about them growing up. They'll teach you how to swing a sword. No, how to swing a sword. He gets like no screen time, and of course, like he makes me cry in the one minute he's in it. You're leaving now. It's the middle of the night. I'll learn to walk in darkness. They're better off walking in the dark. Say so goodbye, little man. Dang, that happened quick. Like he, he had to say goodbye like right now. Jeez. Keep this one safe. He means the world to me. 
I'm not really so much with all the like, you know, the magic and stuff so much, but I kind of like that part that he can get inside of his wolf. Yeah, that's like that's his house cool. sigil. That's kind of what it's been like showing right. us in a way. So there's power in the Starks. Like they have like some magic in their blood too. It was just as you said. They did not believe until it was too late. Their slave soldiers threw down their spears and surrendered. And Dario Naharis? Of course, he has to make a grand entrance. Took it right off of him. Jeez, that was kind of tough too. Dang, she didn't even have to lift a finger for that one. Bro, she's hot right now, man. She can't miss. Oh, look, do you see Edmure talking her up? He like looks happy, actually. Or they're just having the best time at this wedding. Right. Is that even, Vladimir? Yeah. What's up, Vlad? Even Blacksmith was smiling. He complained about this marriage the entire ride from River One. And now look at him. The gods mm -hmm. love to reward a fool. Uncle. He's my nephew. I love him. And he's a damn fool. Mm. Don't you drink, Lord Bolton? Never do, my lady. Does the senses. Didn't you marry one of these fray girls? Aye. Lord Walder let me choose any of his granddaughters and promised me the girl's weight in silver as a dowry. Do I have a fat young bride? Oh. <laughs> I hope she makes you very happy. Well, she's made me very rich. Mm -hmm. Pardon? Uh, my lord, lady, <laughs> I need to find a tree to piss on. A tree? My mother's alone with Ruth Bolton. I should rescue her. <laughs> Your mother is less in need of rescue than any woman I've ever met. That was a slight, wasn't it? But I like her, but if she had her way, I would be back in Volantis playing my harp, and you would be sitting over there eating blackberries out of Rosalind Frey's hand. Perhaps I've made a terrible mistake. <laughs> Striking your king is an act of treason. Don't insult them. Right, Rob's had one too many. Your Grace, <laughs> the Septon has prayed his prayers. Some words were said, and Lord Edmure has wrapped my daughter in a cloak. They are not yet man and wife. A sword needs a sheath. <laughs> <laughs> I'm missing whatever that joke was. And the wedding needs a bedding. You catching it now? Oh. My sire say. Bro, they're hyping it up. That's what Tyrion's was supposed to be like, but it wasn't. Right, yeah. <laughs> He's like, I'm drunk. <laughs> if you think the time is right, Lord Waldo, let's just bed them. Yeah! Kind of ceremonial, ain't it? How do you say that? Ceremonial? Yeah. Why are they still dressed like Amelia Earhart? I don't know. Like, what is that? Like, I just need to know. Why is she looking like sketch? She was looking like very like. Why don't you set that monster free? There's no they're carrying that poor little girl off in a ritual. It's weird. It's like paganistic. Oh, they probably don't do that where she's from. So she's like, what the heck is this? They play harps where she's from. Mm -hmm. Every bride suffers the same. I'm sure you endured yours with grace. Oh, Ned forbade it. He said it wouldn't be right if he broke a man's jaw on our wedding night. <laughs> Yeah, that's my brother, Ned. Love you, Ned. That is a very strange cut. See? <laughs> I suppose it does seem strange from a foreigner's perspective. <laughs> Seems normal to you. It's tradition. Without the bedding ceremony, there's no real proof the Lord and Lady consummated their marriage. No, but there are other ways of providing proof. Boy or girl? I don't know. But if it's a boy, I know what we should name him. Oh, do you? <laughs> what, two bees? It seems to me the father should have some say in his son's naming. Eddard. Oh, don't. Don't you want to teach little Ned Stark how to ride horses? I do. Hmm. Rob got him a keeper. That was like the best thing ever that she could have said. She's giving in a little bit. Yo, it's that song they're telling us to look out for. That dang Lannister song. Casimir. But I wonder why they're playing it here because no Lannisters are here. Whoa, she's looking stressed, bro. They're playing a Lannister song. Why is a wolf in there? Was that Rob's wolf? <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> Where are you going? Our feast is over. Turn this cart around and get the hell out of here. Got pig's feet too. Turn this cart around. He's not you. He doesn't like them things. Bro, what is going on right now? Arya just dipped. Your grace, I've given you meat, wine, music, but I haven't shown you the hospitality you deserve. My king has married, and I owe my new queen what? a wedding gift. Rob! Rob. Oh, no! Oh, oh my God! Oh, oh, oh. oh, my God. Stop! What they the set him up, bro. Oh. 
Oh my gosh, bro, they are gone. They ran out of moves. Oh my god. And that guy knew because he had armor on. Yeah, Vladimir Bolton. Oh my god, she didn't Arya's make it in there. In she there. is so lucky. You better stay out. Are you ready to head home to Winterfell, eh? It's over yet, is it? Aye, it's over. No. Is Rob dead? Did they kill Rob? I don't. I don't. I, don't I didn't see that. it. It just looked like he got an arrow in the yeah, shoulder. Yeah, they shot him. Oh, in the shoulder. Oh, oh my gosh, he knows that. They know each other. Oh no! Oh no! I think that means Rob's dead because I think that's what happens. The like wolf dies too. And never mind. No, that doesn't count because Han says in it. Who is it? The hound. Yeah, the hound. <laughs> He like had to do that, or she was gonna go in there and die too. Bro, I feel so crushed. Like my whole entire like. Oh my god. Oh my god. They're they're making it. It looks like right. She ain't making it out of there. There's a million dudes in there. Oh my god. The king in the north arises. <laughs> he doesn't even care. Oh probably. my god. Let it end. He is my son. Let him go, and I swear we will forget this. I swear it by the old gods and you. You already swore me one oath right here in my castle. You swore by all the gods your son would marry my daughter. So that cost him everything when he broke that. Oh my God. Get he was serious. Up. Get up and walk out. Please. Oh my God. He's not going to be able to. And why would I let him do that? On my honor as a Tullic, on my honor as a Stark, let him go, or I will cut your wife's throat. Oh my god. What is gonna happen here? I'll find another. Mother. The Lannisters send their regards. Oh my god. Are you kidding me? He was snaking the whole time, bro. Oh my god. And she did it. Oh my god. What's gonna happen to her? She's dead, baby. No. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Woo! You alright? <laughs> that was dark, bro. Oh my gosh. Jesus. Didn't even put music on it. <laughs> alright, guys, so that was the reigns of Casimir. Man, that was freaking nuts. That was um, traumatic as hell. That I'm was gonna cuss because that was traumatic as hell. That upset you, baby. That was yeah. I don't know what that was. My baby's invested over here, guys. I I'm just not quite as, as sensitive as Mrs. October, but geez, guys, that was. I'm trying to think in my life, have I ever seen anything portrayed on a TV screen that had me as captivated as that? And I, I hate doing it, man, because so many people out there love different things, you know. But that was wild, dude. That was the hardest thing I've ever watched on TV. That I was would crazy. Say. Um, that every, was hard. Everyone who's been following the channel knows I've been rocking with two Bs, obviously, like. In hindsight, the show obviously was trying to get you really involved with not just Rob per se. It wasn't necessarily Rob. It was necessarily trying to avenge Ned. I feel like the way we we're going to avenge Ned start was for Rob to get independent. So at least something came right. of the tragedy. But man, that that was like who we had. Like freaking... when Ned was gone, that was who we were riding on. But you want to know what I'm thinking? Like I just my eyes look crazy. I know I'm sorry. But um, what I was thinking was whenever uh, Vladimir wow. walked up. I know that that's not his name, but that's what we call him. When he walked up and told two bees that the Lannisters send their regards, that's what Jamie said to him. So now I think Jamie was behind all that. Yeah, probably like, so. Another I reason like, I don't like Jamie, I don't rock with him. I feel like Jamie had something to do with that because the Lannister song was playing. That's what he said. I don't know, man. I don't know exactly, but that was tough, man. I feel the stab wounds in my stomach, man. Like I can feel them. <laughs> that like broke my heart. Like I, that was not where I saw that going. So the Lannisters just won the war. Is that what that means? Well, they're still Stannis. And Stannis yeah. still has a claim, you know? You know, to be honest, guys, I'm going to just keep it a straight buck. The reason we purchased the pay-per-view was because we wanted to watch the main event, which, in my opinion, was 2Bs versus the Lannisters. And, mm -hmm. yo, man, checkmate. I guess that's why this is a Game of Thrones, guys. Rob played the game. He said it. If he goes and tries to take Castle Rock so that way he can didn't the reputation of Lord Tywin, then if they lose that and if they don't time it right, they can be driven to the sea. And I'm sitting there thinking, man, that's tough. Like right. that'd be a, a horrible way to go. Like what worse could I think of? 
And now I'm thinking like, what if there would have been a scene where he would have been bleeding to death in the sea, right? You know what I'm saying? It'd be crazy, but guys, I did not see that coming. The whole time I knew Walter Frey was upset about the betrayal of the promise he made but to marry far, his daughter. Could, you know, how far would you take Dude, it? Dude, I you didn't know? think that they would be capable of murdering Ooh. his whole army like that, though. Like, I didn't right. think that that was possible. I thought he was too guarded of a man. Right, but when you think about it in the grand scheme of things, like when Walter Frey was probably approached with like that offer, because obviously the Lannisters... The Lannisters were involved. We know well, it. Well, obviously, right. Yeah, because they he played the song. He picked the win inside, he thought. Yeah. Right. So he was probably like, man, I, I'm going out on a limb by giving my my army to Rob here. Like, I'm not going to win that. So, like, I have to I have to go with the Lannisters well, she, to survive. Like, what am I going to do here? And another thing is Walter Frey. It was, I'm pretty sure it was 98% strategic because at the end of the day, he seems strategic as yeah. he's in that position. But 2% of them said when they first encountered each other, their families always look down on them. Mm. Remember he made that comment? Yeah. So and that's why he has all these kids to marry off because no one like respects him. I feel, how do I describe it? I feel flat now. Yeah. Like, my energy I is do. gone. It, like, that, I, that killed me. Like the lady who portrays Catelyn Stark absolutely killed that scene though. Like, right. That's what, ooh. man, it's almost like watching your, almost like watching your, like your aunt or something get killed at, Right. That was crazy, man. I, that was crazy. Um, I guess like the the highlight of this episode, like the positive point, which there's like very slim, um, is that Daenerys um took over that city. Yeah, they totally sacked that city. Now her army continues to grow, man. Um, and now she has a ship. And now Rob's so, not even a contender. So uh, I guess it's Stannis versus Daenerys. It feels like the, the vibe of this whole entire the show is like different. Like, oh my god, is that so? <laughs> What like the thing is, I don't even want to see when Sansa and Arya have to find out. You know what I'm saying? Like, because now like anything Sansa has to hold her like strong, because you know she's the key to the North and all that. Blah blah blah. That's all gone. Like, well, they're gonna have a lot of growing up to do at this point. Ooh. You know, man, I knew it was bad news when that girl got involved. Like, Mrs. October, you made so many. What did I got? <laughs> you made so many different. Like, I didn't mean to call you Mrs. October. I was talking to them. <laughs> anyways, guys. Anyways. So, anyways, baby, you had so many like comments where you're saying that like rob was getting distracted by her he wasn't seeing the big picture he was making bad decisions mm. and like i understand dude the heart loves who the heart loves right but if you're rob like when you when you decide that you're going to put yourself in that position to lead an army like you just have to sacrifice like everything that comes with like what you truly a want what you truly want doesn't matter because you're a leader right. now and leaders have to make sacrificial choices sometimes he should have sent that girl right back out there to tend the wounded and he would have saved her life ultimately and rob led her straight into the slaughter and it's crazy because didn't he ask his mom in this episode what they should do because he was saying like i didn't trust you before mm -hmm. remember but now i trust uh. you and then his mom was even like caught off guard like every person was caught off guard when but when she started noticing like the doors closing and she like saw his armor she knew right away what was well happening. i'm sitting there thinking like why in the world are they playing a lannister song if right. not to just like insult at insult to yeah that's what that's what i was thinking i was like you're just gonna sit there and insult this man after he like they went out on a limb to give you the the toughest wedding it, of it started to click because you guys have been telling us to look out for the song the rings right. of Casimir. you guys are like oh you should check out that song there's not very many you should <laughs> learn it pay attention so i was like oh, okay cool so i just thought like it's just uh, i thought since there was only a couple different like soundtracks in the show that basically i should just be familiar with it so mm -hmm. i tried to do that but then when it started playing it started to click and then everyone said they're so excited for the wedding yeah but i was oh thinking God, the whole wedding bro. i was thinking about was joffrey and marjorie's like that's the wedding i'm sitting here like literally banking on i'm sitting there thinking that like since this show has a way of like blowing you away visually i was thinking that the production of this wedding was gonna be like you know like certain moments in tv history are just amazing yeah like, i thought it was gonna be something like that like guys. a I, cinematic like masterpiece like the twins wedding was just gonna be like a beautiful thing like but instead it was the traumatic thing like so basically what the Lannisters the got rid of Rob <laughs> as simply as just playing a game of battleship, man. They just made the right call and sat back from afar and Rob just walked into the slaughter. That was crazy. Basically I didn't teaming think up with the Roos, like that. Be teaming up with Roos, the Lannisters, when they teamed up with Roos by letting Jamie go, when he let Jamie go, that won it for them right there. Like that that was Rob's demise right there. The Rob's demise was Catelyn letting Jamie go. Yeah, hundred percent. Well, marrying the girl that led to that to led to that. A like, lot of bad decisions were made, man. But yeah. in hindsight, what do you do? You know, like whoever played Rob out there, man, awesome job portraying such an amazing character, guys. Uh, Honestly, I, I thought you were going to go all the way. I swear, if you were to ask me yesterday or forty-five minutes ago, 
who I thought was going to win the Iron Throne, I would have said Rob. We'll but see. I would have said Rob because, pause, I would have said he just would have had independence from the North. I really thought that was coming this way. You know, I'll be I'll be 100% honest with you guys. I like Rob. I like Rob's character. I never felt like Rob was going to like make it all the way because you guys have said from the very beginning of the show when you play the Game of Thrones, you die. You know what you I'm saying? You win or you die. So many people have been saying that, right? And so I was hoping maybe he could, but this show doesn't really seem like the type of show to have a happy ending. And it seems like the more evil you are in this show, basically like the better of a chance you have of being successful almost. Right. So I just felt like he's just too morally good to can Yeah, to if you're a good person, world. like, bye. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, well, I'm, basically, yeah. So at this point, I'm Team Joffrey. He's going to live forever. I don't know, man. I guess. No, he's going to live forever. He's at this point, we like hell. Daenerys, and we like Stannis when Stannis has got his head on, right? I mean, he's all right. I like Stannis, Stannis when he's in with Davos, when he's Stavos. But to be honest, Stannis... St Stannis just ain't doing nothing for me like that, though. Yeah, I mean, he's, he's, he's not king like, material. He's he. When someone said he had the personality of a lobster, want to say it was Loras? They weren't wrong. Like a boiled lobster, like not hey, all the way boiled, you know but just like a little boiled, where it starts to get like uncomfortable. Like that's kind of it's a little chewy. Melisandre, when she was taking them slugs or whatever leech slugs off G Gendry, Gendry, she said Rob first. And like the next episode, Rob's gone. I don't know if that's relative, but Baby, like you'd be catching stuff like. Well, I'm editing it, Jesus. and so I was sitting there when I was editing it because you know Stannis had to drop him in individually. I remember, I remember the order too. It was Rob. It was, it was Rob. It was Balon for some reason. I don't know. And um, who's the third person? Joffrey Baratheon. So basically, in hindsight, man, Rob should have took his men, and they should have just stormed it, and they should have just took the bridge. I mean, I mean, in hindsight, no, because they chance. have a way bigger army. So he was thinking this was about to be a peaceful thing. Yeah, but Rob understood that without that bridge. But I'm just saying, in hindsight, I mean, but if you're going to die, army, you might as well go die. Their army, not the bridge, well, the army. Uh, I understand. So are you saying just there's just no way Rob? Like Rob just Rob was it's like when hands. you're playing when you're playing chess and you just lose the game like well before the game's over, yeah. but you look back and you realize, man, I lost a long time ago. It That's why you saw now. at the beginning he was insulting his wife and Rob had to what sit could there he have done different? Not taking it. Maybe like try to build your army elsewhere. Like maybe luck up and team up with John, who could get the wildlings or something. I don't it know. It seemed like, like there was nothing he could, he could do. do. It seemed like no matter he, he needed, he them. didn't have a move on the table. He needed them. Let me know in the comments, guys, because we this is fresh for me. I haven't really had time to think back or watch it. So what could Rob have done differently to avoid this? Not married the girl first of all. Married well, the obviously, girl. but do you think that Walter Frey's loyalty is really only as deep as an oath? Like, do you think that if he would have married the daughter, he wouldn't have done it anyways? Well, I think that the Lannister. He well, just has faith in the Empire, which you, is King's Landing. Right, but if you think about it, that reigns of Castamere song. That's not just a song against the Lannisters. That's a song against Tywin himself. So when you're going against Tywin, that's dangerous. Tywin is the most powerful man in the realm, even more powerful than Joffrey, and everyone knows it. Yeah, Tywin's been saying the whole season, the young wolf will make a mistake. The young wolf, the young wolf. And he's been like the mocking mistake. him because yeah. he's young, you know? And he and and I feel like he knows that a young man would make a mistake, like marry someone. Yeah, because of his nuts. Yes. He wanted to marry that girl. Right, so Excuse a my young language, man. But that's what it is. He made that mistake. Tywin's not going to be sitting there getting all in heat over this girl right. like that. Because Tywin's, Tywin's smart, even... Even Bolton said it himself. He's like, I got a wife at home. She's fat, but I'm rich. Like, we deal with it's these things. It's not about that. Like, right. If we you, deal with if these you wanna, things. If you want to live that type of life, bro, you need to go to Earth. But in this world, we don't get down like that. Like, that'll get you killed. He he was trying to, like, change the culture, I guess. Like Rob wanted to lead, but he didn't want to sacrifice. Right. Rob just didn't want to sacrifice the way you have to. Right. And and Catelyn said, if you would break an oath, then all your people are going to break oaths. And kind of she nailed it. She knew that the oath. The broken oath meant everything. It's almost like everyone's sitting there thinking like one day someone will do, you know, quote unquote, the right thing. Someone will be like a moral compass in this world and someone will do that and they'll break through. Like someone like that will actually rise to power and accomplish something. But it's like, nah, bro. It wasn't to be. Nah, bro. Like you, but you got to be a straight killer to make it in this world. You got to have some dragons. You got to be willing to to just freaking. What, what do you do? Burn down the city they said in the war? The Targaryen dude? Aegon Targaryen yeah. or whatever? Yeah, you gotta do something like that. So this I, I don't is, know, man. This, this is, is going insane. This is, like this is crazy. I I hope you guys enjoyed that. Like seriously, um, I'm hoping the next episode, Bran just wakes up and he's like, "I had a dream this happened." Then he goes and stops it. Like, please. <laughs> I can see why you guys have been waiting for that. Like since the moment we picked this show up, you guys have probably been waiting on that moment because that was horrific. But basically. like, also, I, I don't know. What to I want to use curse and for profanities, but I'm not. But like, forget y'all too, though, because y'all knew that was coming. Y'all just like. 
Y'all are ready. That's kind of mean. Y'all are ready to break my heart like that. But I mean that lightheartedly. I would want to see someone like reacting to that for their first time too. No lie. Like that's probably interesting. I'll be honest with you guys. The only thing that I'm not like thrilled about right now is just this like this like emptiness I feel. Like I feel like like evil prevailed once again. And it's like, there's, you know what I'm saying? Do you feel like you have to find a new person to get behind? Well, yeah, but I'm having a hard time getting behind people. Like, I, I know too. everyone likes that Daenerys. That was the right choice. Like, that was the right choice to get behind. Daenerys just seems like someone who, <clears throat> I don't know, man. She just seems different than what Rob's preaching. She seems like she's willing to just walk up into a city and sack it. Right, like, right. But the thing, she just the thing is, I get her, I get her bath, moralness man. of it because she's feeling like, these people the are slave owners. I get, so like, I, I, I I get that. Like, totally. I, I'm And I'm behind that. If she wants to free those people, let them have a choice to fight for her or not. I, I like that. I, I don't know, man. This That was tough. Like, that was heartbreaking. And my feelings are hurt. And I feel like... I feel betrayed. I feel betrayed by the show a little bit. Yeah. Well, with Daenerys, I guess that's kind of who I'm rooting for now. And I, I really like her. I guess my skepticism lies in her dragons, right? Like, mm -hmm. it's not really so much her. It's the fact that, like... You don't like, know if they'll get, like, full grown and be able to, like... I just feel like with the dragons, it's not a fair fight. So like, even though right. I don't like King's Landing and I don't like the Lannisters, I don't think it's right that she can just come over with a dragon and just take it. I was certain. You to know think, what I'm saying? I, was like, to I don't think, think that's like, right because it's not fair. I was I certain, that's weird, but I, like when I see the dragons and I, I if they get if they get grown, I feel like the end game for them is gonna be like maybe to like kill the the White Walkers. Like burn them? Yeah, like that's the only thing I can see them doing if they're grown. Well, guys, I have an ultimate theory, and I don't think I've shared it yet, but uh, that's mainly because I literally just put together in like a second just now. But <laughs> I think, I <laughs> think what's gonna me. happen, <laughs> bro? I'm seeing that like in the end because the show seems to be setting up that in the end is basically going to be whatever a long night. whoever what survives, a whoever long survives night. in the south, aka south of the wall, right? Yeah. If I if I if I refer to the south at broad, right? I'm talking about south of the wall. So, babe, I'm thinking. Whoever survives that freaking cluster over there is going to freaking come out and they're going to be left with a showdown against the 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 undead, basically. The, so whoever's left like in the living is going to be living versus dead. You know how in this episode we realize that Bran is like it's not that he's necessarily chosen, but he's one. Oh. He's like one of of no one. So he's right. He's, so he can communicate. He's almost like a things. prophet in a way. because yeah. he's So. So what if this man can get inside of the mind of the dragon? And control it and use that to, to do the white walkers to kill finally them. defeat them <gasps> and it all comes down to the little to burn and right. the only way he knew to channel that was because he broke his leg so it was like a life changing so when so oh that's why God. you dudes are getting on me about jamie because jamie, you're gonna be like and it wasn't for jamie jamie the whole world the, would be dead oh my god so jamie not only did he that. save king's landing he saved the whole world because he he's the one who threw bran out and if he didn't like his sister so much yeah but these are just theories here guys that could be wrong, but it's, I'm right. to me, that sounds pretty good. Does that sound but good? But if that was good, the writing wouldn't be That just right. hit me. <laughs> so, that just hit me. Let's go. I, I don't know, guys. Look, we'll hold on to that one and like take a screenshot of it, maybe, and Yo, go to season eight. Was that good? Did I put it together? Good? Good. Listen, guys, so here's I, I'm, the thing. I'm kind of rocking with that theory, but I'm nervous to rock with it. because If I happen <laughs> to be right, then um, you guys are going to accuse me of seeing the show, and it's going <laughs> to kill this entire channel. So if I'm right, guys, it's just because like <laughs> that would be brilliant. Oh, but then I didn't. Well, how does he? Okay, okay, okay. Because I just developed more holes in my theory. Okay, what then, was your theory? What was the hole? Well, I got to thinking. I was like, okay, well, is Daenerys going to be okay with that? Was her in gold? And then I got to thinking, like, so Bran's going to make it to the end of the show. Like, oh, he's going to have to, like, kill Daenerys to get into the dragons? Well, I'm sitting there thinking, like, if they're willing to kill. To be honest, I completely lost my train of thought, guys. And I started <laughs> thinking about John. If they're willing to kill off two bees, they're willing to kill Bran. They can kill uh, John, you know what? Arya. The, when you put that into perspective, like, they're going to kill someone else good and it's going to be really irritating and I'm not ready for it. So I'm not going to get behind anyone. I'm going to get behind. Uh, I'm going to get behind. I'm going to get behind the realm. The realm. Yeah. I'm going to get behind Marjorie and Grey Worm. Those are my two favorites because I'm going to get behind. Who uh, knows? And Arya. I'm going to get behind. Um, and Sansa. Dang, why can't I think of his name right now, dude? What the heck? The guy who ain't got no. Oh, Varys. No Varys. Or yeah, Theon. Varys. Varys or Theon. Well, did they cut him? I. It seemed they to me like they, they did. did. Yeah, I mean, he screamed. Dude, if they did, I hope it's one of those things where, like, the next episode, he just doesn't have them. What if he's just... I don't want to see What it. if... Oh, my God. What if Theon's bald and he wears that stuff and then he makes drama in that guy's I thought you realm. just said Theon's balls. I was like, what are you no, talking No, he's like? bald. <laughs> he that. turns bald and wears, like, a cloak like Varys. What if he turns into a eunuch? Theon the eunuch? Maybe. Like, Theon, Theon the... Bro, what the hell? That's what you get for killing John Wick's dog.
Damn. Dude, that's not even the end of season three. We got another episode. Oh, yeah, let's go. Damn, that seemed like a season finale to me. I know. Guys, to be honest, man, I'm I'm hurt. Uh, I really like Rob's character. Not, I thought he was a great actor. Let me just reiterate one more time, man, because I feel like, sorry, guys, I don't like to blabber, but I feel like we got one time in our life to talk about this, and I don't want to miss it. Right. But basically, to sum up how I feel, I believed in the cost because the show made me realize early on that the Starks are all that lies between. The Starks are the moral compass of this world, right? And it really made me root for two Bs. And They're honorable. I just learned a lesson, man. The Iron Throne does not... Like the Starks, they it just doesn't like the Starks. Bro. They like, don't uh, want the Starks anywhere near that. Sansa better watch your back, dude. Like, oh my gosh, now now I'm so worried for Sansa because I feel like that was the only leverage she had was Rob coming to attack. Can or I say some, leverage? Can I say something kind of ignorant? What? Just just for the Patreon, and we can cut this part out for YouTube because I don't want everybody to get mad at me, guys. This is gonna be kind of ignorant, but the reason I never really wanted to watch Game of Thrones early on was because, to be honest, how do I put this? Like some ladies that like I wouldn't necessarily be my favorite type of ladies that I happen to know like was all about it. And so it just sort of became like something where I perceived it to be like a like a like a really like like a soap opera type woman show. Right. Like I it, thought it was going to be just like a really girly show. Right. So I was like, nah, bro. I'm, you know what I'm saying? Like, like nothing I'm good, against you it. You didn't watch that. Yeah. You know, and I was like, once you get done watching your Twilight and your Game of Thrones and your True Blood and all that junk, then I'm going to come over here and. Watch what I watch, but <laughs> it's not like that at all. Like, no, you know, like uh, I just heard it was about like you know dragons and guys. When I hear the word dragons, I automatically think they talk for some reason, and I'm like, well, we grew up on <laughs> Dragon Tales. I got the right, shirt, right. See, so. so like, I, I, for me, I was like, man, I, I really think that's cool. Like that, y'all, you know, that situation, like medieval stuff. But like growing up, I didn't have any cable mm -hmm. and stuff. Growing up, man, I really didn't like everything we watched. I had to sacrifice. I had to go out in the thunderstorm, twist the antenna. Y'all know how it was. <laughs> And so I like to keep the shirt as a little reminder of where we come from out here. Uh, now we got the live streaming services. I got like 12 of them. And I just feel like <laughs> like I'm stream rich. Y'all know what I'm saying? And I just yeah. want to appreciate y'all because I can afford so many because of yes. you great people. Thank you guys and for watching me cry. And it helps us watch so much content on this channel. <laughs> Guys, it's been so much yeah. freaking fun, man. That was that was not fun, but it was fun. Like I'm glad, uh, I'm glad we got through that. But boy, I keep just going. Into, you know how when you're sad and you just get lost in your thoughts for a minute, and you just look down and you just rest in peace to two bees, man. I'm sorry that y'all never got to have that baby. That's sad. I know we're over two with pregnancies, and somehow, some way, man, I'm gonna keep pulling for the North Aria. If you're out there somewhere, so, uh, Sansa, stay strong. We're gonna see you on the next episode.